channel my name is leslie if you are new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below it means so much to me when you guys subscribe to my channel if you're not new hey girl welcome back so today we're going to be making some pho got all the ingredients from instacart actually they delivered ordering from sprouts to get a few things and also from heb i am in the mood for pho it's just like cloudy and a little chilly so i'm like i want to make shrimp pho and to try to also make spring rolls so i'm so excited about that to be trying that out the shrimp defrosting and i have the pho already cooking i want to get all that chopped up and ready to go you guys all the fresh ingredients for the spring rolls and for the pho we're gonna need like cilantro green onion jalapeno limes carrots things like that so i want to get everything ready so i need to start cleaning up and just chopping everything up so let's clean up all this mess Bye. Say bye, mama. Love you. So you guys, <laughs> spontaneous uh, date night. Uh, I was working, getting glam and creating content. And then Philip was like, hey, I asked my mom and dad if they could babysit tonight. And I wanted to, you know, I want to go out to dinner and like have a little date night. And I was like, oh, baby. Oh my god, I was so excited and awesome because I'm freaking hungry. Like my outfit, it's super cute. Like tell me you're Scorpio without telling me you're Scorpio, you know what I'm saying, vibes? But yeah, so I'm excited. We're dropping off Kai right now at his grandparents' house and he's excited too. My baby looks so cute. But yeah. It's all guys i forgot to check in after our date we already are back home we picked up kai and everything Absolutely just took off my makeup using that dermalogica pre-cleanse that i used last time seeing on tiktok this lady talking about how she keeps her skin like making sure everything that she puts on her skin like right now how i'm doing my skincare routine with starting with hyaluronic acid this is the l'oreal one and um and she was saying that she does this method called slugging where you put basically vaseline on your skin after you put all of your skincare on and this just like helps with like wrinkles and like really deep hydration making sure everything like locks in and i was so excited and i tried it yesterday for the first time i woke up this morning and I saw a real nice difference around my eyes, so I want to do it again, okay? Until I find something better than Vaseline. So, next I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. eye cream. Mm. 
and I'm gonna put it all over my eye. I really love the Hello Hydration line from e.l.f. you guys. e.l.f. is doing an amazing job with their skincare. I've been really impressed with their quality lately. And now I'm like completely hydrated. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Vaseline. Put it all over my eyes. Cause that's where I really saw it, like in my crow's feet, like it looked so good this morning. On my lips, literally everywhere. I feel like a greasy slug. But you are ready for bed, basically. And I'm super glowy and hydrated. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so I just got ready to work out. It's, um, it's a little bit in the afternoon, it's like 12.30 and Kai just went down like an hour ago. So I just got my new phone, you guys. Sadly, I've been off socials since a Sunday afternoon. I've been learning of the community tab here. Like I really started like paying attention to it and it's so cool because like I can directly message you guys and like talk to you guys back and forth through there and I love that because it's like giving me a sense of community of seeing who you guys are and that seriously has meant so much to me so I'm gonna make it a routine to make sure that I at least write you guys a message there at least every other day so we can stay connected and definitely when I'm um, uploading a video. A few of you were asking if I was gonna do Vlogmas and honestly then again I, I don't know if Vlogmas is like Christmas only because since we don't celebrate Christmas like I'm not doing any Christmassy things you know what I'm saying so I don't know if like Vlogmas is for only that but I mean I'm still gonna be uploading two vlogs a week you guys. I've made a promise to myself since October and I'm I think it was like since September honestly I don't even know I don't remember when I did that of staying consistent and I've done it and I'm so freaking proud of myself like so proud I'm hoping that soon I'm gonna be seeing my channel keep growing with my hard work but yeah what I was gonna tell you so I'm about to work out but because I have been, haven't been on socials, like I've had to do other things to like basically entertain yourself because that's what social media is. Like you're entertaining yourself and others because like when I create content, it's to like entertain people. You know, when you're like on Instagram or whatever, like I always love sharing like my breakfast and just like my day and stuff. And since I didn't have to do any of that, like I feel like I've had way more free time. It, since I have done that break, let me tell you, I started reading, I think in one of my other videos, I told you guys that I started reading a new book and this book is not like self-improvement, self-development, which is a lot of the genre that I typically do read. This is more of just like a fun book to just, you know, escape reality. It's called Red Queen and I'm already eight chapters in, literally eight chapters in because in the last two days, I think I've gone through like four chapters because I've just had the time and I was like dude I need to make that more of a routine in my everyday life where it's not just social media that I'm using to entertain me throughout the day like yes I read books still like heavily but not every day I need to at least 10 pages a day would be good because you at least get through one chapter like that you know what I'm saying but that made me happy and um yeah i've really been enjoying that book red queen and then i have to like update and you know or not update but like put all like the terms and conditions and everything restored from icloud so let's see how long that's gonna take i'm sure that's gonna take a while so um i'm gonna go ahead and get my workout in <laughs> This toast is so good.
you guys. Do y'all see that? I know y'all see that, right? Why this Instacart shopper bring me eight bunches of bananas? Seriously? I can't. Like, like, didn't he think that was odd? Didn't she, the per, didn't the shopper think that was weird? Let me message them, check it out. I would have, I know I would have, let's, I used to ask for one banana, right? Like one bunch of bananas. And they literally brought me one banana one time when I started doing that. So then I was like, you know what, let me just put eight. And I always put like a little note on there. I say, bring one yellow bunch and one green bunch. So they get that it's two bananas for each. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense. But the person brought me eight bunches. At least they brought some green ones and some yellow ones. But what am I gonna do with all these bananas, girl? I'm not the banana girl, like. So definitely gonna freeze some of those and probably have my mother-in-law come pick some up for the kids or whatever so they can have some bananas too. I have all the stuff here, you guys, to make our soup. And I have the shrimp defrosting. I'm thinking about making the beef broth earlier just because uh, I want it, I guess, like, sitting in that flavor longer because i was thinking about it i was like wait if you do it at four like it's not going to develop the flavor depth that i want so i should start on it now now the only thing is that that lady charred the uh the ginger and the onion in the oven but i literally don't want to do that i'm gonna just char it outside on my little my little gas grill because i have this mini gas grill that i got at sam so we're gonna roast that right now I'm about to uh, lay down with Kai so he can fall asleep and then I can start cooking with you guys out here. So I need to get my big pot because that is in the oven. Like that's the reason why I'm not trying to do that in the oven because I have stuff in there, you know, and I just don't want to, you know what I'm saying? When you gotta clean out the whole oven and all that, like I'm not trying to clean out. Can y'all see my oven? No, okay good, y'all can't see what I'm hiding over here guys. I'm hiding you guys you can't really see but it's literally nothing it's just like just a bunch of pans that like don't fit nowhere so now that my ginger and onion are in here I'm gonna go put it on the grill and I'm not gonna bring you all outside though because shh, try not to make that much noise since Kai decided to fall asleep on the couch you guys You guys, I cannot take myself seriously with all these bananas. <laughs> I'm gonna add some cinnamon. I'll add in the onion, the ginger. I'm gonna add two spring onions. Smells good. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. Oh, too much probably, yeah. way too much sadly have all the ingredients I needed to make the pho exactly like honeysuckles a recipe I realized that they did not give me the anise that I bought I'm thinking they must have not been able to find it or they were out of it or something so I also looked it up on google like what's an alternative to that and it's fennel seed and I also do not have that either so I'm just gonna go ahead and start tasting it and seeing like what I need to add to it glad that I was able to find this at sprouts the cardamom because it actually smells really good I can already smell the pho flavors, so I'm excited about that. I'm gonna add in some 
fish sauce. gonna be enough I know it's not a lot of caldo like a lot of broth but since I'm not trying to make so much to have like a ton of leftovers or anything like that because one I'm gonna be surprised even if Philip will eat this because Philip does not like uh soups like he never likes soups <laughs> it makes me laugh but anyway and Malachi is still sleeping right there you guys he is a knocked out he's been asleep for like almost three hours now let the shrimp cool off and while that's cooling off i'm gonna go ahead and cook the noodles <laughs> got the bean sprouts some mint cilantro green onion and really thin sliced white onion because i don't know that's how the uh local my local pho does it and i really like onion so that's cool with me some limon and some jalapeno so i have that on the side ready to go and then i also have the shredded carrot and the cucumber ready as well for the um shrimp so i'm gonna go ahead and start cutting some shrimp so it's a little hard with the big huge knife honestly oh that's easier actually all right you guys so there is our chop oh and someone woke up someone woke up just mm, giant Mmm. You want some cucumber? Someone woke up from their long nap. Just in time too, because I finished cutting the shrimp and um and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up again all the mess. That way we can start assembling. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water. Oh baby. Oh my baby. I'm gonna open these. Yeah. I got two. So I'm gonna dip the one in water. And then it says just apply it to the plate. Going with our shrimp. Nice and soft. And now I'm going to put some lettuce down. And some cucumber. Some shredded carrot. And then a little bit of noodles. Not too much, but just a little bit. And then mine. 
And then I'm gonna wrap it tightly. Like a little burrito. Filled it. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, there it is. Awesome. four spring rolls they don't look the best i feel like um but i made them you know freaking awesome so now i'm just gonna make a sauce that i saw it is peanut butter for the peanut sauce i saw online and a little bit of hoisin sauce i've never tried this before but i saw that it's needed for all the recipes and then a little bit of water Some people also put like fish sauce and um, sesame oil in here. So I'm gonna wait and see to taste it first and see what I wanna add in here. And then a little bit of soy sauce as well. And then I'll see if I wanna add in the sesame oil next. I'm gonna add in a little bit of this. I'm gonna add in a little bit of this sesame oil in here. Just a little bit. Get into it. So you guys really quick i thought you know what since philip doesn't really like soup i'm not gonna make him a soup i think i'm gonna make him one of those like vietnamese rice noodle salads you know the ones that have like lettuce at the bottom with the noodles on top and then a sauce and then i i made um i did more carrot shredded carrot and cucumber for him then i went ahead and like grilled some chicken thighs so what i'm gonna do is like I'm gonna slice that up and then just put it on top of the noodles with some carrots and um, the cucumber and then I'll let him pour the peanut sauce on top and he can eat that. And then I made him a mini pho because I know he don't really like soup. So I hope he at least tries it though. So I made him a mini version. So this is what I got so far for Philip. The shredded carrot and cucumber. And then some shrimp. I'm gonna add a little bit of these little things on here. I'm not gonna tell them that they're in there. You know. I'm gonna just put it there. You guys, can you believe I freaking made this? And let me show you how I, when I cook, like what I do. So I already started packing Philip's lunch for tomorrow. I'm gonna make him a little bit of the pho in here. In this mason jar, it's easy for him to eat because it's like a cup. So I love this and it's a wide mouth. So nice and big. So proud you guys of everything that I did today. Honestly, I blew myself away. I cannot believe I did this. I'm so proud of myself. It was a little time consuming. And I'm sad that I didn't have all the ingredients, so I know the soup, the broth, is not exactly how I would want it to taste. But I'm happy with this. Anyways, I'm going to add some sriracha. And try this soup. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Ooh.